Meron tayong problem. A ball leaves the thrower at a speed of 39 meters per second at an angle 52 degrees above the horizontal. Ignoring air resistance, find the position of the ball and its velocity, magnitude and direction at time 2 seconds. Una nyan, sketch natin yung projectile path. So let's say meron tayong projectile path dito. So ito ay parabola opening downward path na nakikreate ng projectile motion natin. So let's say mag-assume tayo na nandito yung bola after 2 seconds. Ito yung initial velocity natin na given. Meron tayong angle which is theta above the horizontal. Ang hinahanap dyan ay yung coordinates or yung position natin. Let's say ito yon, Ito yun, yung x. Ito naman yung y na position from ground papunta dun sa kung nasan yung bola. Tsaka yung velocity niya at 2 seconds. Velocity, hanapin din natin. Pati yung direction niya. Ibig sabihin nung direction, yung theta natin dito. Makikreate natin theta dito or angle. So isolate natin to. Ito yung bola. Ito yung velocity niya. At 2 seconds. Ito yung Vx. Ito yung Vy. Makikreate niyang angle dito. Ito yung theta. So hanapin natin yung position. Yung x, y, velocity at 2 seconds. Tsaka yung angle. Given ito, dalawa natin. So first, find the horizontal component of the initial velocity. So ito yung VOX or V0X, initial velocity along X or along horizontal. So ang VOX natin, makukuha siya sa formula na VO cosine, so ay 39 cosine 52. Sagot natin dito ay 24.01 meters per second. Then second, find the vertical component of the initial velocity. So ito naman yung VOY. Ang VOY ay initial velocity sine theta. So cosine dito sa x, ito naman sa y sine theta. Ito ay 30.73 meters per second. Then meron tayong note dito. So velocity along x is equal to or velocity of x at any time siya ay initial velocity along x lang din. So, equal yan sa lahat dito ng path na to. So, let's say meron tayo dito vx at certain time. Meron din dito vx at certain time. Equal siya sa vox. Yung vox kasi, ito yan. Ito naman yung voy. Na at 2 seconds, vx is equal to vox. So, may formula tayo. x distance or yung coordinate na to using x is equal to vx times time at 2 seconds. Substitute natin dito yung VOX which is 24.01 times natin sa 2 seconds. So, ang X natin ay 48.02 meters. So ito na yun. Yung position natin sa X. So, ito ay 48.02 meters. Yung Y coordinate dito natin yung sulat. Time 2 seconds Y is equal to initial velocity along Y times time plus 1 half GT squared or minus 1 half gt squared. Dito gagawin kong negative yung g. So y is equal to, initial velocity along y is 30.73 times 2, plus 1 half times negative 9.8 times 2 squared. Sagot natin dito ay 41.86 meters. 41.86 meters. So meron na tayo nakuha x and y. Sunod natin kunin yung mga velocities. So at time 2 seconds, horizontal velocity ay equal siya all throughout at equal siya sa initial velocity along x. So Vx is equal to Vox is equal to 24.01 meters per second. Kukuha natin yung vertical component ng velocity Vy is equal to initial velocity y minus gt. Or plus gt tapos yung g gawin mong negative. Okay lang din yun. So, 30.73 minus 9.8 times 2 is equal to positive 11.13 meters per second. So, positive means the ball is moving or is still moving upward. So, at times 2 seconds. So, tama yung assumption natin, nandito pa siya banda. Moving upward pa yung v, Vy natin at 2 seconds ay upward. Ito naman yung Vx. Pag naging downward siya, for example, nandito na yung bola mo, 
magne-negative yung by mo. Ito naman yung vx. So, since positive ang sagot natin, 11.13, still moving upward. Tapos, isolate natin, gawa nung ginawa natin kanina. Ito yung vy, ito yung vx, ito yung hanapin natin, yung velocity na yan. So, if vy to, parallel nyan, to vy lang din to. So, right triangle, v squared is equal to vx squared plus vy squared. Square root mo siya, square root mo siya. Velocity natin ay square root ng 24.01 squared plus 11.13 squared. Sagot natin dito ay 26.46 meters per second. So, ito na yon Sagot natin sa so velocity. So, right triangle to. May theta ka dito. So, tangent theta is equal to Vy over Vx. So, theta arc tangent Vy over Vx. So, equal siya sa arc tangent 11.13 over 24.01. Sagot mo dito ay 24.87 degrees. Okay? Ibig sabihin, 24.87 degrees to. Doon sa position natin, itong angle na to. 24.87 degrees. So, ganun lang siya. Magnitude ng velocity, tapos direction ng velocity. Tapos position ng bola natin, x and y. Next na tanong, find the time when the ball reaches the highest point of its flight and its height h at this time. So, drawing ulit natin, so may initial velocity tayo dito, yung time na papunta dito, yung hahanapin natin, which is t1. Tapos hahanapin natin yung maximum height h, so from the ground, or sa iba, y max. Since may given tayo na initial velocity na 39 meters per second, tsaka theta na 52 degrees, meron tayong derived equation or formula na VO sin theta over G. So substitute natin dito, so ito ay 39 sin 52 over 9.8. T1 natin ay 3.14 seconds. So, meron na kaagad tayong sagot if yan yung given. Pero kung gusto mo yung conventional way, tuturo natin siya. Meron tayong Vy is equal to Voy minus Gt na formula. So, at highest point, ito, ang Vy natin dyan ay 0. So, at highest point, Vy is equal to 0. So, ito 0 na. Initial velocity along Y natin kanina ay 30.73 minus 9.8 times time which is unknown. So, 9.80, di pa sa kabila, 30.73. So, divide 9.8. So, T natin, or T1 to, T1 natin ay 3.14 seconds. Yun yung conventional way. The same sila. Ito naman yung derived formula. Ito ay shortcut kapag may given kang ganito. Yung H naman natin, or yung Y max, may derived formula siya na Initial velocity squared sine squared theta over 2g. Substitute natin. So, 39 squared sine squared 52 degrees over 2 times 9.8. Using calculator, ang sagot natin dito ay 48.19 meters. So, ito ay 48.19 meters. So, derived equation lang din siya, mabilisan. Pero, gamitin natin yung conventional weight. So, at max height, di ba ang time natin para ma-reach yung max height ay T1. So, substitute natin siya doon sa formula na Y or Y max. Ito na yung H natin. So, VOY T1 minus 1 half G T1 squared. Substitute natin. 30.73 yung initial times time 1 natin ay 3.14 minus 1 half. Sagot natin dyan ay 48.18 meters. So, the same lang sila. Ito yung conventional way. Ito naman yung derived equation. So, meron pa tayong other solution dyan. Yung final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared minus 2g. Tapos yung distance which is yung maximum height natin, h. Ito ay 0. So, at max height, 0 to. So, formula transformation lipat natin doon sa kabila. So, 2g h na siya divided by 2g so, H na lang, ito ay Vy squared over 2G. Ito yung formula. Ito ay 30.73 squared over 2 times 9.8. Sagot dito ay 48.18 meters. So, the same din siya doon.
So next na tanong, find the horizontal range R to horizontal distance from the starting point to where the ball hits the ground. Tsaka hanapin din yung ball's velocity just before it hits. So yung R, ito yan, maximum range. Yung dito, papunta dito, or yung X, X max. So ito yung R range. So may derived formula din yung range natin. So ang range ay initial velocity squared sine 2 theta over G lang. So kanina, Yung y max natin, ito, vo squared, sine squared naman dito. Tapos 2g. So sa range natin, vo squared, the same. Ito, sine 2. Hindi siya sine squared. Iba yung sine squared, ito naman sine 2 theta over g. So substitute natin, 39 squared, sine 2 times 52 over 9.8. Using calculator, ang sagot natin dito ay 150.59 meters. So using derived equation, mabilisan din ang formula. So i-drawing natin yung projectile, so hanapin natin yung x max or yung range. Pag bumalik na siya dito sa ground na to, ang y natin dyan ay 0. Tapos yung total time natin, sabihin natin, ang t total, t2 na lang sabihin natin. May formula tayo na y is equal to initial velocity y, t2 so minus 1 half g t2 squared. So y is 0. 0 na to. to factor out natin. Labas yung T2, VOY, then minus 1 half G T2. So, the same lang din yun. Finactor out lang natin to Nilabas natin yung T2. T2 is 0. Tsaka ito, solve natin. Equate natin sa 0 to. Positive 1 half G T2 is equal to initial velocity. Cross multiply yung 2 doon. Then over G. So, ang t to natin ay 2VOY over G. Tapos, meron tayo ng VOY na VO sin theta. ba 2VO sin theta over G. So, ito yung total time natin. Pwede rin ito. Nasold na natin kanina yung VOY. So, substitute natin. Lagay natin dito. Ang t to natin ay 2 times yung 30.73 Initial velocity y over 9.8. Ang total time natin ay 6.27 seconds. 6.27 seconds din ang sagot pag ginawa mo to. So makukuha na natin yung x max or yung range. Siya ay initial velocity x times time 2 or yung total time. So ang range natin ay 24.01 tong vox times natin ang 6.27 ang range natin ay 150.54 meters so may discrepancy konti dito sa 150.59 kasi na ground up sa angle natin yung sa sine 52 tsaka yung sa gravity na ginamit natin 9.8 lang pero the same sila so in summary tatanda natin tong formula na to derived equation siya para mas mabilis.